Nvidia. 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 Nvidia was the bell of the ball. Today's gain was yet another record high. Forget the boundaries of physics. Nvidia has announced a new AI processor that defies expectations. This isn't just an advancement, it's a paradigm shift. But how does it defy the laws of physics? What does this mean for the future of AI and beyond? Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to a very, very big GPU. This is Blackwell. Get ready for an exhilarating journey as we explore NVIDIA's revolutionary creation in greater detail. Of the last eight years, we've increased computation by 1,000 times. Our TCO is so good that even when the competitors' chips are free, it's not cheap enough. And one of the greatest contributions we made was advancing computing and advancing AI by one million times. NVIDIA's unveiling the future of AI. NVIDIA's fast ascent to become a $2 trillion industry titan is evidence of its innovative role in the AI revolution. They have come a long way from being just concerned with improving video game graphics. The turning point came in March 2022 with the introduction of Hopper, a data center powerhouse designed for AI acceleration. Its immense popularity, fueled by skyrocketing demand, solidified NVIDIA's position as an AI leader. The next chapter began in October 2023 with the introduction of the Blackwell architecture. Named after the influential mathematician David Blackwell, this groundbreaking platform pushes the boundaries of conventional GPU design. While Hopper boasted an impressive 28 billion transistors, Blackwell takes a revolutionary leap by seamlessly fusing two dies into a single, unified chip. This breakthrough eliminates memory constraints, resulting in a massive chip with an incredible 10 terabytes per second communication speed. Despite initial skepticism, NVIDIA delivered. The architecture seamlessly integrates into existing systems for easy upgrades. However, a prototype board featuring two Blackwell chips four additional dies, and a Grace CPU linked via ultra-fast connections offered a glimpse into the future. This configuration hints at a future where computing power is redefined. The true brilliance of Blackwell lies in packing immense power into a compact form factor. Key to this achievement is the fifth-generation MV link within the new Transformer engine. With twice the speed of its predecessor, this engine enables computations within the network itself, which is essential for optimizing efficiency when numerous GPUs collaborate. Blackwell's impact extends beyond raw speed. The new FP6 format delivers two and a half times the training performance per chip compared to Hopper. Furthermore, the FP4 format doubles the throughput for inference jobs, which results in optimum time use and significant energy savings. These are all crucial developments for the future of generative AI. This creates the conditions for AI to really thrive in the future. NVIDIA has dubbed this era generative AI, signifying a major shift in computing paradigms. Their new processor is tailor-made for this era, with content token generation facilitated by the FP4 format. Housed within the NVIDIA Blackwell AI supercomputer, this chip offers five times the token generation and inference capability of Hopper. However, NVIDIA's goals don't end there. Already, they are working on a larger and more potent GPU. A key innovation is the MV-Link switch, a powerful chip enabling high-speed communication between all GPUs in a system. This shatters prior limitations, paving the way for groundbreaking advancements. The latest DGX system showcases this power. Compared to its predecessor, it boasts a staggering 4,200 times the performance, putting NVIDIA at the forefront of supercomputing. This translates to the world's first exaflop machine condensed into a single rack with a mind-blowing bandwidth exceeding the entire internet's capacity. Remarkably, this is achieved efficiently, saving significant power. Blackwell's true potential shines when compared to the past. Complex AI models, once taking months, can now be trained in days with far less power. This leap in efficiency marks a turning point. NVIDIA's ambition goes beyond computing. They're venturing into NVIDIA Robotics, where AI interacts with the real world. 
Imagine a futuristic warehouse with robots and humans working together seamlessly, guided by a central warehouse AI that acts as a traffic controller and even holds conversations. This intelligent collaboration is powered by NVIDIA's end-to-end -end robotic systems, including the DGX for training and the AGX for sensor processing, all bridged by the Omniverse simulation platform. With Blackwell leading the charge, the future of intelligent and collaborative robotics is closer than ever. Future of Humanoid Robots Robotics is on the increase, bringing with it the promise of a convenient and safe future. NVIDIA is at the forefront, collaborating with auto giants like Mercedes to integrate their technology. BYD, the top electric vehicle producer, has even adopted NVIDIA's cutting-edge Thor computer for autonomous vehicles. This paves the way for advanced robots, perhaps even humanoids. Project Groot marks NVIDIA's bold move to revolutionize robot learning. This groundbreaking project goes beyond theory, unlocking the true potential of humanoid robots. With a sophisticated foundation model, robots can process instructions and interactions, autonomously figuring out their next steps. Isaac LAB, a specialized learning application, combined with Omniverse Isaac Sim for simulation, creates a virtual training ground for robots. Project Groot's brilliance lies in learning from minimal human demonstrations. Robots can mimic human gestures and help with tasks by analyzing a few interactions. The sophisticated neural networks developed by NVIDIA allow robot instructions to be translated into human behavior. Project Groot extends robot versatility further. Imagine robots generating motions based on natural language commands, giving high fives or performing complex maneuvers. Powering these capabilities are the new Jetson Thor chips, designed specifically for peak performance in humanoid robots. The future of robotics is bright, and NVIDIA's Project Groot is leading the charge. With Project Groot at the forefront, humanoid robotics are poised for significant advancements in autonomy and capability. This project paves the way for a new era of AI-powered robots, promising a future where robots seamlessly integrate into our daily lives, revolutionize industries, and reshape our interaction with technology. The NVIDIA Evolution In the age of bulky computers and dial-up, three California visionaries saw a problem. Jens Huang, Chris Malakowski, and Curtis Prem, fueled by late-night Denny's coffee, recognized the limitations of CPUs in handling complex 3D graphics, crucial for animation and engineering. Unlike CPUs, a dedicated graphics chip could break down and process tasks simultaneously, vastly improving efficiency. This groundbreaking idea, later known as the GPU, wouldn't replace the CPU, but work in tandem for graphics rendering. In 1993, with their sights set on revolutionizing PC gaming, NVIDIA was born. The name itself embodied their ambition. NVIDIA combined next version with the Latin word for envy, hinting at the power their chips would unleash. Huang, Malakowski, and Prem brought a powerhouse of experience from LSI Logic, HP, Sun Microsystems, and Graphics Chip Design, laying the foundation for a company that would transform computing as we know it. Still, starting a business had its share of difficulties. Uncertain of what to do next, they sought legal counsel in 1993 to incorporate the business. Huang made a crucial move when he invested $200 of his own funds to acquire a 20% share in NVIDIA and enable the company's official founding. The next challenge was going to be finding the money to support their big idea. From skepticism to success, securing funding was an uphill battle for NVIDIA. Investors preferred established founders with clear visions. However, NVIDIA's connection to LSI Logic a previous investor of Sequoia Capital, landed them a crucial meeting. Sequoia, initially hesitant, recognized the potential of the burgeoning graphics card market and invested a significant $20 million. Despite the backing, NVIDIA faced fierce competition. Out of 90 companies chasing similar goals, only NVIDIA and AMD survived. When NVIDIA went public in 1999, its value skyrocketed a 100-fold return for early investors. 
The journey began with a dedicated engineering team. Two years later, in 1995, they launched their first product, the NV1. This marked NVIDIA's entry into the market, and they secured a deal with Sega to power popular games like Virtual Fighter on their consoles. Additionally, these chips were PC compatible, which at the time was a novel idea that let players play Sega Saturn games on their PCs. NVIDIA took a bold gamble with the NV1's design, opting for squares, quads, instead of triangles for rendering. While Sega expressed concern, NVIDIA remained confident. Their goal, as explained by Lazy Game Reviews, was to speed up rendering by reducing CPU load. However, this approach became less practical as technology advanced, and compatibility limitations with popular graphics APIs like OpenGL further hindered the NV1's success. Despite a software patch enabling DirectX support, it ran without hardware acceleration, negating a key advantage. Despite the innovation, the NV1 ultimately failed. It aimed to be a versatile solution, combining 3D graphics, video, audio processing, and more into a single chip. As Huang later described it, the NV1 resembled a complex, multifaceted octopus, perhaps too ambitious for its time. The market craved a simpler solution, a dedicated 3D graphics chip. Additionally, the NV1 was overpriced compared to competitors. To further complicate matters, Microsoft introduced DirectX, a new API favoring a triangle-based rendering standard. This simplified coding for developers, driving them towards DirectX. Unfortunately, the NV1's quad-based architecture was incompatible, causing performance issues or rendering existing games unplayable. This was a serious setback. Due to low sales and a lack of game support, Diamond Multimedia, a significant customer, returned the great majority of NV1 machines purchased, almost forcing NVIDIA into bankruptcy. There were layoffs and an excess of unsold chips, which led to a terrible $10 million loss. While all of this was going on, NVIDIA continued to work on the NV2 processor for Sega, which was once more based on the antiquated quad architecture. Huang took a vital decision after realizing that a radical adjustment was required to survive. NVIDIA's advancement and transformation. On the brink of collapse, NVIDIA CEO Huang secured a crucial lifeline from Sega, allowing them to adapt to market trends. The 1999 release of the revolutionary GeForce 256, the first programmable graphics card, marked a turning point. This success fueled NVIDIA's initial public offering that same year. They further solidified their position with a lucrative $200 million deal to develop graphics hardware for Microsoft's Xbox console. NVIDIA's influence extended to Sony's PlayStation and major PC brands. To streamline operations, they became a faiblesse chip company, focusing on design and innovation while outsourcing manufacturing to TSMC. Recognizing the potential of GPUs beyond gaming, NVIDIA broadened its vision towards diverse applications. In 2006, NVIDIA introduced CUDA, a revolutionary software toolkit that simplified GPU programming using familiar languages like C and C++. This opened doors for developers beyond graphics applications, allowing industries dealing with vast data sets to leverage parallel processing power. The trend gained momentum in 2008 with the Tokyo Institute of Technology's supercomputer utilizing CUDA-powered GPUs for superior performance. Today, Data centers like Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud Platform embrace GPUs for diverse applications, laying the groundwork for the AI explosion that began in 2012. The GPU revolution, AlexNet, a deep learning neural network that was revolutionary at the time, marked a turning point. Alex Krzyzewski, a PhD candidate from Toronto, created AlexNet, which significantly increased processing performance by utilizing GPUs. Using two NVIDIA GeForce GTX 580 gaming cards, Krzyzewski trained AlexNet on a massive dataset, achieving a revolutionary 15% error rate in image recognition, a significant leap from the previous year's 25%.
While these numbers might seem modest today, they laid the foundation for the highly accurate AI tools we use now, like ChatGPT and Google Lens. This breakthrough shattered skepticism surrounding neural networks and ignited the AI boom, following a period of doubt known as the AI winter. NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 580 cards, optimized for CUDA, were instrumental in this revolution. They enabled parallel algorithms, making them ideal for deep learning tasks like those used by AlexNet. Suddenly, a vast world of deep learning applications opened up, with NVIDIA at the forefront. Their investment in CUDA and its software ecosystem paid off tremendously. NVIDIA GPUs became the go-to choice for training and deploying AI models, with companies like OpenAI relying on NVIDIA's A100 series to power the widespread deployment of their AI models like ChatGPT. There was an immediate spike in demand for NVIDIA's GPUs after ChatGPT launched in late 2022. Particularly, the A100 series proved quite popular, with organizations such as Microsoft buying an astounding 10,000 systems, each costing a cool $110,000. NVIDIA sold hundreds of thousands of A100s in spite of the high cost, which helped them reach a record $13.5 billion in sales in the quarter that ended in July 2023, a startling 101% rise in sales year over year. As a result of its extraordinary rise, NVIDIA achieved a historic milestone on May 30, 2023, when it became the sixth business to have a trillion-dollar market capitalization. Hit that like and subscribe button for more mysteries.